Hello, my name is Rodney Hill, product manager here at Atlas Copco. And today, we're going to connect a Tensor ITB tool to our Tools Talk 2 software, and we're going to give this tool some licenses. So the first thing I'll do is I've connected the tool already to my wireless network. I'm going to connect to the tool now via a web browser. And you can see here, I have my web browser pulled up, and I can see all the options on the tool. I'm going to go right to the settings menu. On the settings menu here, I have a few different options. This is where I configured my Wi-Fi here under the network. I'm going to go to the, the second tab here called server connections, and I want to turn on my Tools Talk server. Um, I'm going to change the IP address that we have put in here to the correct one I'm using on this server. Uh, I will use 192.168.140.100, and I'm going to copy that because I'm going to use that again here in another field. I will apply this, and I will turn on Tools Talk 2 with this tool. I'm also going to go down here and turn on my Atlas Copco License Manager, which is going to allow me to exchange licenses between Tools Talk 2 and the tool. So I'll turn that on and click Apply as well. And now we'll jump right into the Tools Talk 2 software. All right, so here we have our Tools Talk 2 software. And I can see I only have one tool that's connected so far. And it just so happens it's the ITB for the Product Essentials videos that we're using today. So I'll click on that tool, and it loads all the information from that tool I can see now here in the Tools Talk 2 software. Um, I can see the programming, and I have all these different options of things I can do on the tool. But for now, we're just going to go down to our system administration, and we're going to click on the FMS tab, which is the third one from the left. And I'll see here, because I only have one tool, I have the one tool in the menu. I will click Edit, which is the icon on the left here, and I need to add some licenses to this tool. So I'm going to choose two different licenses that I want to add to the tool. I'm going to put a process control license on the tool, and I'm also going to add a integrated controller license to this tool. So I've chosen one of each of these. I will click OK. And in a second here at the top, I will see this reflected now that the tool has these two licenses that I've given it using Tools Talk 2. So I have one more step to actually use these licenses on the tool. I need to go onto the tool itself and select those licenses. And the reason that we do it this way is because we have controllers that can have multiple licenses that can be apportioned in different ways on the controller. So that same functionality is true here also for our ITB tools. So if I go into the ITB menu here under the virtual station, I'm going to open this up. And I can see down here on my licenses menu, I have a couple different things. But right now, I don't have anything selected. So I'm going to look at my virtual station types. And I'm going to click the Choose button here. I will choose the process control license that I've added to the tool. And now that will be uh, attached to this virtual station on the controller. One more thing I need to do here, I need to click the Push Changes button, and I will push these changes now to the tool. And now this tool has been licensed. And if I want to verify this, I can check in the web browser of the tool, which we'll check here and make sure. It's also warning me here um, that the tool has some new licenses, and we'll need to refresh it in the interface here because of the new features that may be available for it. So now let's take a look at the web browser on the tool. Um, we'll go back to the menu here under License Assignment now. We can see that the internal process control license that we loaded onto the tool is now on the tool and shows that it's in use. And under controller features here, we can see the internal integrated controller license is also in use on this tool. And I can check and see to make sure that everything's good by pulling the trigger, and my tool goes around here. So I can actually see results now in the tool. So that's how easy it is to license using the Tools Talk 2 software. If I wanted to make changes, I could very easily take those licenses off of the tool, putting them onto another device. Many of our licenses are interchangeable between different products, like the PowerFocus 6000 family, the Tensor IXB family, and the PowerFocus 8 family. So many of these licenses we can use with different products, and it's very easy to make these changes in the Tools Talk 2 software. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative, and thanks for watching.